Hey, what's up, guys? This is Team Hard Life Captain Albert Sakducha here, and I've got a breakdown of everything that I did with the Vexen and the Hellcat fishing rods. And actually, it's already written there because I thought I was recording and I wasn't, so I sat there and I did a big old spiel about it, and it all got missed. Got a lot of stress on my mind It's a nice day to go Yeah, I got a line I'm a caller The whole team So, I'm gonna go over it again real quick Alright guys, so You've got your Vexen and Tackle Industry rods over here That are a Titan Carbon Composite Fishing Rod Hellcat Fishing Rods are an S-Glass composition Which means it's pretty much unbreakable right there we were fishing with a heavy and extra heavy fishing rod, nine foot and eight foot, only because the tip was broken off on one of those from a high stick. And we were also doing a heavy and extra heavy with the Hellcat. We started out with a five ounce weight, as we did on both. And then throughout the night, I moved into an eight ounce weight. Obviously with the winds picking up, I was still looking for my distance casting. When I first casted them both, I got my 80 yards. That was, that was a no ringer right there. Or, it didn't have to worry about it. Once I got to that, I was like, all right, good. I can get some distance with it. But obviously with me, if you've ever fished with me, you'll notice as I continue to fish throughout the night, my cast gets further and further and further as I continue to warm up and you know loosen up those muscles and get it going. Now, so with that being said, those were the basic things that I was looking at when I was out there fishing. Now, as the night wore on and I started really paying attention I started looking at, okay, well, with these rods, I get long distance casting, which means I can fish them with the, for the surf, pier, jetty, river, bay, kayak, lake, boat. It don't matter. I can do all of that, but I got those three handled if I'm looking for a long distance casting. On these, they still got a good cast for river, boat, kayak, pier, jetty, and all of that. But if you're needing that extra 15, 20 yards where the fish may be, because if y'all follow my channel long enough, you'll know that there's times when I show you, hey man, the fish are way out there, and this is how you get to them, and that's where I do those distance casting. And you'll see many times that I'm the only one catching, because I'm hitting that little bit of extra distance. So that's going to be something y'all going to have to ask yourselves. Okay, am I okay with this, not being able to hit this on those days? Or are you looking specifically to be able to hit longer distance on casting? Now I know in some of those casts, I got up to 120, probably 125 yards on cast, but I'll say the average, I was sitting right at about 110 yards once I got my eight ounce weight on there. Over here, even with an eight ounce weight, I was still only getting 80 yards. So that's gonna be something to think about. Like I said, obviously two different rods, but I'm doing the knowledge here because a lot of people may not want a rod that may break at the end of the at the end of the day. I mean, the, these are strong rods, this and that, but they're not going to break on a fish. I mean, I I mean, I have fought and I have stopped fishing their tracks. I intentionally fight them as hard as I can to try to break it while fishing or landing a fish with them correct. No, uh, excuse me, correctly. Obviously, if you high stick this fishing rod, you're going to break it. This one you can high stick it and you won't break it so you don't have to worry about that. So that may be something you may take in consideration. Oh yeah, and also too, I'm gonna put that, I'm just gonna put a dollar sign right here. And that, that one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let that one sit there for a minute, but all right. So uh, yeah, from high sticking right there, that's what I was talking about. The rod links on this one, you can do seven and a half foot, nine foot, 10 and a half, spinning and bait casting. You can do them in a 50-50 split, a 70-30 split, which are two-piece rods, or telescopic, or a one-piece. Over here, they're only in a seven and a half foot length of one piece. As far as I understood everything, I did not go to their website and see if they have shorter rods or anything else, but for the ones that we were using for the extra heavy and heavy, that they come in a single one piece, all right? So with that being said, we did talk about customer service. Over here, their customer service is top notch. They've talked about the different things they're always doing to try to prove that their rods can take the abuse or mishandling by accident or on purpose. As them slamming their rods in the tailgate is obvious, it's not gonna break. Lifting up their owner with, with a forklift, it's not gonna break. So that is something that, 
like I said, this is all, you're gonna give a little and you're gonna take a little. Which one do you really want more? Which do you really want more of? All right, so with that being said, these guys' customer service is questionable at best, only because if it doesn't fit within the certain fishing rods that they remain to carry, we can't get any more of a single one piece, extra, extra heavy, because yeah, this is the other thing too. They also have a higher class rod, which is the XX heavy fishing rod. Whereas this one, the extra heavy, I believe is their heaviest one right now. And so again, like I said, I just started getting into them and I only dealt with what I had available. Um, so on this one, if they don't have that fishing rod in stock, they're not gonna have it. That is something that I'm working on and soon this will be tech, uh, hard life fishing rods rather than Vexen and Tackle Industry. Only because they are unwilling to carry the nine foot because of shipping costs and this and that. At the same time too, people are willing to pay for a product. I'm willing to do the business for it. Also too, they're dark colors only. Guides need to be upgraded. So are their real seats. Obviously when they come to you as a um, mass production rod, they're ba very basic. The blue is blue, the black is black, one's got cork, the other one has, you know, a rubberized grip on it, you know, that's heat trunk, and that's it. The Hellcat fishing rods have multiple colors to choose from. Uh, actually, I didn't put that in there. i me put that over here. Uh, multiple colors. Four rods, let's do that. Where, like I said, these are only two colors. And these have four. Um, also too, they have very bright colors. They have pink, they've got white, they've got orange, um, and the chartreuse. So with that being said, you know, there's, there's gonna be a lot of give and take, but at the end of the day, the few things that I wish these rods would have is a longer fishing rod with a longer butt section. So that way I can get my nine footer or 10 foot rod that would be considered unbreakable. That is very important to me right there. If I'm, we can get them into that, that length of rod, I think a lot more people will be a lot happier down here in our area because we are fishing surf, jetty, and piers that are out on the Gulf, not just in the Bay. And so with them doing that, that will do number two. It'll increase their distance on casting. So that will be very important for us. And I really feel it'll be pretty awesome so again here they have spinning and bait casting they also have awesome awesome and actually I'm gonna upgrade that to a star because that is very that's very cool they have awesome rod sleeves they got heavy-duty real seats heavy-duty guides and then obviously the multiple colors or multi colors on their fishing rods right there so yeah I had like I said I was doing all of this and I was going step by step by step by step and Y'all kind of got to see everything that I was looking at and doing. So this is how I'm kind of breaking it down because it gives people an idea of what they're looking for and what they're wanting to do. Right now, to tell you the truth, the distance and, and also the, the bow on the rod, now I have to talk a bit on this one. Because during cast, you saw where the Hellcat was bowed over a lot more, so the weight was down low. It wasn't getting up high to get that distance to get away from the pier. That is important for me because when I cast out, I want to be able to hit those fish when they're out there at that distance. However, if I can get, get it to be an unbreakable fishing rod, then oh my gosh, that would really, really take me from dealing with these rods to going over here. Now, I uh, lose the 50-50 split, 70-30 split, you know, a telescopic rod, but at the same time, being able to have a fishing rod that I don't have to worry about it breaking on me will really, give it give it a lot of input right there so again guys right there there's a lot of the um, information that was I noticed and I thought about and um, was testing on it all right so here's the other thing the Vex and fishing rods go from like 149 up to I think 269 at their high one these were 176 I believe it was what he said or 186 so they're in the $200 mark all right 
So they're reasonably in the same ballpark, except you gotta say, okay, do I want a one piece rod or do I want a 50-50? Do I want, you know, long casting versus decent casting? Do I, you know, you, you're gonna give and take. Right now, there's not a rod that has both in there. Not yet, but you didn't, never know. Maybe they're watching and they're gonna pay attention to this right here. And if we can get those longer rods, that can be really a game changer for everybody down here and stuff like that too. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, I have submitted my my information to them to see if we can get some more rods down here for testing. And maybe we can be their beta testers for the distance casting because they want to get into the surf fishing. So, I mean, what better way to do it than the guys that actually like to get out there and, you know, put, put some heavy rods and bait and tackle out there and do some good distance casting and stuff like that so i'm really looking forward to it it was a real real treat to fish with the guys out there uh obviously it was just uh it was just him on there fishing with rob out there he, he was an excellent person to fish with uh, it, it was very unexpected like i said i was looking something was telling me i gotta go fishing i gotta go fishing and then for him to walk in our shop we were able to get these videos out there I was able to do this after the catch video on the Hellcat fishing rods. And these are the things that I was looking at. You know, a lot of people don't really consider the amount of questions that I'm sitting there asking him of his company, what they do, what they don't do and stuff like that. And you know, uh, it, it, it's, it's there guys. So we're looking forward to it. We're really looking at what we can do with them and what they can do for us. So stay tuned for that guys, but there, here's my after the catch with Mexican fishing rods and the Hellcat fishing rods, which really, they really took it up a notch. You know, they do have a lot of good things going for them and you know, a little tweak here and there can't really hurt anybody, you know. So looking forward to it and we'll check y'all later.